Skip you, my spicy baby, Abracadabra. How are you doing, my baby, my boo boo? Happy birthday. Uh, today we are doing your general energy vibe check and love. So we're gonna see what new fishies are coming at you in the sea of love. Who is out, who is in, and who's getting deleted from the database. Naughty boo boo. All right, my baby, my papa. So let's see what is happening for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please show me angels of love in November uh, 2024. I'm recording this on the first. It's a special day for us. It is a new, the new moon in Scorpio. So if you're, uh, you know, manifesting things, doing magic, if you just want to vibe with, you know, a high vibration for yourself, now is the time to ask the angels. Now, you know, in in, in the next few, throughout Scorpio season, for transformations, some of them might feel some of them might feel painful as you know this is this is our lifestyle you know how it is uh i feel like all of us are shedding our skin real deep uh this season this time around this year and uh, coming through changed and improved so let me know in the comments below how uh how are you doing and when is your birthday baby all right so let's see <clears throat> yeah you're shedding something you're shedding you're not shouting, it's okay. Uh, yeah, Skip you. Uh, what's crossing you right now is the Ten of Swords. It's okay, Bipu. It's our season, but um, whatever this transformation is, it has to happen. Uh, something, something feels like a painful ending. Let me just clarify what that is. Let me get another deck. All right. Please show me angels. You were exasperated by something in the recent past. You got the Ten of Wands here. When it comes to, to your love life, um, so it could feel like you've, you've been trying to date, you've been putting yourself out there, some of you could have been single for a while, and it's just like, you just keep getting douche fleets. It's just like, oh my gosh, the same, like the same, you know, the same toxicity, the same, it's almost like you're going out on dates with people and you just keep hearing the same thing, and it could have been years that you've been hearing the same thing, trust, you know, we all live in the same world. The same uh the same material world <laughs> your mommy knows what she's talking about you know what i mean and you see through people so fast that it just it's just like oh my gosh like another another one another liar another ghost another secretly married person you know we hate liars so yeah i feel like you encountered something in your recent past that exasperated you and it it had to be it had to end, but it wasn't even the ending of that thing that got you. It was the fact that you had to go through this again and meet a douchebag, douchebag test, anyone in between, again, like an, another clown. Like, what is this? It's not like we're running a circus, but it seems like, you know, they're coming, the, you know, the clowns thing. Uh, <laughs> Why can I not speak? Something's in the air. What's going on? What's going on? Um... But it's okay, but boo, it's, it's about communication and love. I feel like uh, whatever the collective message is with me fumbling words is, uh, yeah, communication is solved. People not communicating, people not telling the truth. And Scorpion, uh, you know, uh, we are truth tellers and truth seekers. It's just in our nature. We can't help ourselves. Uh, the three of uh, wands here, you're, you're ready to move on. You're like, where is my boo-boo? Where is my papa? When am I going to meet someone who's like makes sense? someone who can actually like tell the truth or present themselves in in the correct manner if if you see what i mean but yeah it's um it's just feeling exasperating with the tennis lawyers you're like Ugh, this is not gonna happen i'm so tired of this do not give up skip you because you know how it is with us we always feel like we're gonna give up we're, we're such sensitive souls it always feels like it's the end of the world but actually there's always there's a durability to Scorpio, and there's always a second chance for Scorpio that uh, most other signs never experience, if you see what I mean. Scorpio has many lives. Um, and if you know, you know, boo, boo All right, before we get into the future as well, let me just say welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot, my baby, my papa. This is a safe, I keep saying my baby, my papa. Wait, I need to start saying something new. Um, my boo, boo. This is the safe space for Scorpios. All right, we're all in this together. It is not a lifestyle for the faint-hearted. I got so many placements in Scorpio. I got so much love for you. 
hope you're enjoying the season. This is our time, all right? This is our time. But yeah, it's not for the faint-hearted. You just feel so discouraged. It might feel very lonely. If you were in a relationship recently, or if you're still in a relationship, or some kind of connection, dating situation, you might be feeling like, it was just so exasperating. Nothing that you did was correct. Nothing that you did was right. Um, no matter how hard you tried to heal that person or, or give them uh, chances, you know, that beautiful scribionic soul, you know, soul elevating love, that person was just constantly exasperating you. It's almost like the more you embrace them, the more they bit you. Um, but not like a scorpion, and not not the scorpion sting that heals. It was like just, you know, like little dog or something. Um, that person kept biting you, and you're just, you're ready to move on, but you're so tired. But, but you're so tired of this. You're just tired of trash people. End of story. The world, what's coming in? Boop, boo, good news coming your way, but also put yourself out there. The world wants you. Somebody wants you, all right? You've got uh, quite possibly a fixed sign coming your way. Let's see, who's coming? If you're looking, oh, oh. Your opposite, your Taurus, the Hierophant, a Taurus is coming your way, okay? Um, they are a man, woman, anyone in between of the world. So if they either live at a distance from you or, or they're just very worldly, very, you know, um, well-placed, well-positioned, educated. This is rock solid energy. We got rock solid uh, for Aquarius as well. Check out the Aquarius read, especially with placements in Aquarius, because uh, uh, the energy seems real similar, and I'm also getting a nervousness. Something, boo -boo, something's in the air. Like there's something in the air for love tonight. Uh, it's, uh, it's it's kind of like sundown in Cyprus right now. There's just something in the air tonight that uh, I'm just feeling it. Like, but it's. It's not necessarily a bad nervousness, but I'm there's something that I'm anti I feel it. I'm ch channeling it. Uh, it's a feeling of anticipation, but do not be afraid, uh, okay? Because uh, you might be scared of trusting people, or you might be scared of a fall in some kind of a way. You know, love is a fall. Love is the fall. Falling in love. Um, so don't be afraid. It's your opposite energy, your opposite sign, Earth. Someone who's going to hold you, contain you. Someone who's going to understand you as well, because you're both fixed signs. You're both in this card someone who's very well established someone who's very sophisticated someone who's strong uh someone who i mean this person means business they're coming in and you got the ten of pentacles here by the end of the year you might be in a totally different dating situation so the holiday period is going to be important in meeting people if you're traveling uh, to see family or if you're traveling at this time that's a great way to meet this person also you know the world is uh, the internet and so i'm sorry to say but let's see how is this person going to enter scorpio's life and what's going on with the other person it's when you least expect it they don't want to tell me but bill but um keep putting yourself out there that's the most important thing because the world is saying be seen allow this person to see you oh my gosh aquarius got such a similar energy allow this person to see you more Taurus energy the empress look <laughs> but bill <laughs> this is awesome i claim this reading i love tauruses i really want to marry a taurus um the empress um Taurus energy, someone's coming your way, but Bill, you're gonna meet that person when you least expect it, when you feel trapped in your own thoughts, when you feel like um, the person uh, or people you know you had been dealing with until recently that exasperated you so much, where you feel like, oh my gosh, it's never gonna end. Maybe uh, let's see, and let's see what that person's doing. <sighs> Uh, all right, the exasperating mm, influences in your life when it comes to love that you have recently been disappointed by will be reaching out, but it's, you know, it's a fool's errand, the, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Cups. And they're going to make you feel, somebody's going to try and confuse you, the Seven of Cups next to the Ace. They're going to try and confuse you, uh, the Eight of Swords. Do not be gaslit. You can't be gaslit, but you know what I mean. Just going to feel like, oh my gosh, this person's back again, or that person. You might have a lot of exes coming back as well, because it is your birthday season, or, you know, uh, the excuse might be, you know, the, the holiday period, and people are going to be trying to, like, you know, slither back in. Don't let that happen. 
Five of Pentacles, delete from database. All right, anything that didn't work out before, delete from database. If it's exasperating you, it's uh, it's not worth it, boo-boo. You have a Taurus coming your way, or someone who has Taurus, it doesn't have to be their son, but they have Taurus placements. It's placed somewhere prominently in their chart. Um, could be an Aquarius as well, because I'm getting a very similar feel to the Aquarius read for your read tonight. All right, my boo-boo, my boo-boo. This is what I have for you today. Do you like the new setup? Also, sorry for fumbling my words, but sometimes, you know, when we channel, we channel. Um, maybe we're dealing with someone who, uh, you know, couldn't articulate themselves or uh, you couldn't understand what they were saying. I don't know. Maybe they speak a different language. Or someone's fumbling or mumbling their words, quite possibly. I don't know. That might resonate for someone. Uh, but, but this is what I have for you today. Let me know in the comments below if this is your story. Skip you, my boo-boo, my boo-boo. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're interested in a personal reading, all the info is down below. I'll see you next time. Stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. Mm -hmm.